Welcome to another edition of Frankly Green Bay, brought to you by the Outagamie County Fair, July 25th through July 30th in Seymour, Wisconsin. Today I got one of my buddies. We go with, in fact, his name is Buddy. He is a great musician, plus he's a wonderful barber, and he's going to cut my hair live on Frankly Green Bay, Mr. Buddy Brass. Welcome to Frankly Green Bay. Got my good buddy, Buddy Brass. How you doing, my friend? Great. How you doing? We are at Russ's Barber Shop. Uh, my Uncle Dave owns the place. And uh, Buddy is uh, redoing a haircut that uh, Uncle Dave did. Now, let's talk about Buddy Brass. Um, music. When did it become real important to you? Because you're such a great singer. Uh, back when I was uh, maybe 16, 17. Uh, hung out with a bunch of great musicians. A lot of my friends were musicians. Yep. Um, the Fair Boys. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. You remember them? Oh yeah, I do. <laughs> I'm not gonna say. Yeah. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> I got with those guys, and um, they could all play instruments, and I was the only guy that took the singing job because they couldn't play anything at the time. So. Okay. Let's talk about the music scene. You're jamming with the Ferris, and all of a sudden, this place opens in Green Bay called Doc's Comedy Club, which was you and your brother Mike, I do yep. believe. And Uncle Dave, who's actually cutting hair next <laughs> door over there. Um, yeah, we started that thing, and tell me about that experience at Docs. Whew, it was it was really fun. <laughs> I mean, you get to see two different comedians every weekend. It was lots of uh, cocktails sometimes, yep. you know. But uh, it was a it was a great experience. That's what it, that was about the same time that um, karaoke was yes. in, in this area. Yeah, and you hosted it almost every night with your brother Mike. Yep. With Mike, so you, Docs Comedy Club, great experience, and then. All of a sudden, you got into some great bands after. I got was in a band called Slick Monkey. Remember them? Um, no competition. Three studs and a wing nut. <laughs> that was about it. You know, With Rick Lajeunesse and those guys. Those bands were great. They were fun. They were fun. And you know what? You still get to play with those guys once in a while, don't you? Uh, not so much Rick anymore. He's with Johnny Wadden and those yeah. guys. But uh, we, we, I still get out with the Pharaohs. And yeah. So all of a sudden, you, you, you're doing the music thing. Why hair? Hmm. I'm better at hearing than I'm singing, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> was it kind of a thing to do? Is that what you wanted to do? Was become a barber, or? Well, I didn't want to be a welder and work <laughs> with sweaty dudes all day. So you work with sweaty heads? No, you could work with women all day. Oh, there you go. There we go. Okay. So where'd you go to school? Uh, I went to Martin's. Martin School. Martin School of Hair Design. Yeah. And how long have you been doing here now? 18 years, 19 years. No way. Yeah. Hey, Russ's Barbershop, though, if you want to come down here, no appointments, right? Ever? No, never, never, no. So you just show up and get your hair cut? Sure. Yep. Do you have a line outside the door? Sometimes. <laughs> so, buddy, you got into the bar uh, business, owning a bar, Fat Heads. What was that like? Amazing. Yeah. Amazing. Uh, it was a few years of just great entertainment. Got to see a lot of people that were fantastic. Um, now I have some people in there now, Brad Lajeunesse and yep. Carrie Lajeunesse are doing a fantastic job. Um, they're keeping the whole yeah. thing going. Do you miss running a bar? Um, no. <laughs> no I, I, I miss the fun parts of it where you didn't have to actually work, but yeah, yeah, and, the, yeah. and the bands. I miss the bands a lot, but yeah. and I miss the cocktails once in a while. But like yeah. a, one of the cool parts of that you did at Fat Heads was all the drawings. On, on the wall. That My was goodness. that was John Bernard. That was John. Was I a, thought you did some of those. Uh, no, we came okay. up with the ideas together okay. and stuff. But John Bernard is the, the the mastermind behind it all. Thanks for tuning in to another edition of Frankly Green Bay, buddy. Thank you so much. Yes, sir.